that the internet has revolutionized humanity. It is perhaps the greatest tool we have ever built for better or the worse. But how does it actually work? We shall be looking into it in detail. Firstly, note that your devices are connected to the web through a modem or a router which allows it to connect to other networks around the world. Now, what are these modems and routers? A router creates a network between the devices in your home while a modem connects this network to the internet. Before we shall move on, we'll look into two more important terms, client and server. Client computers are the ones that connect to internet through an internet service provider. Servers are the computers that are directly connected to the internet. Now what exactly happens when you type in the URL into your web browser? Whenever you send request to the internet, the request is broken down into smaller pieces called as packets and is then sent to your internet service provider. Once the internet service provider receives these packets, it then uses a domain name server or a DNS to find out the IP address of the website you are requesting. If your ISP is unable to find the IP address of the information in the current DNS, it will relay that information into other DNS until it finds the DNS that knows the IP address of the information you are requesting. Further, the browser sends a hypertext transfer protocol or a HTTP request to the target server to send a copy of the web page to the client using the transmission control protocol. On receiving the copy, the server approves the request and sends a 200 OK message to the client computer. Later, the server sends the web page files to the browser in the form of data packets. As your browser reassembles the data packets, the website loads, enabling you to browse, shop, and engage in your favorite website. And that's how the internet works.